Welcome to another Waddell Manufacturing product knowledge tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to install Waddell corbels and brackets using the keyhole plate method. First, let's talk about the difference between a corbel and a bracket. Although both may have a keyhole plate, there's one difference that sets the two apart. The bracket has a back plate, whereas the corbel does not. Waddell's corbels and brackets can be finished using paint or stain. All finishing should be done prior to installation. Today we're going to be using a set of stained brackets as well as a shelf. Remember that these corbels and brackets are more decorative than structural. It's recommended that you do not display items which will exceed 10 pounds. Before we start, let's make sure that we have all of the necessary materials. Each corbel or bracket should have a keyhole plate pre-installed on the inside edge, two two-inch screws, and two number 810 ribbed wall anchors. Helpful tools for this installation method include a stud sensor, a pencil, a drill, a screwdriver, a measuring tape, a hammer, and a level. Let's get started. First you need to find a wall stud using a stud finder and mark both sides of the stud to find its center. Now measure and mark the height at which you would like your shelf to be. Make sure that this mark is still on the center of the stud. Now that you have made a mark on the center of the stud, you'll need to drill an eighth inch hole two inches below the desired height of the shelf. Next, insert the provided screws into your pre-drilled pilot holes and make sure that they are still sticking out a bit. Hook the bracket over the screw head and push down into locking position. If the bracket is loose, then the screw head is out too far. In this case, remove the bracket and tighten the screw a half turn and try again. If the bracket cannot be positioned over the screw head, your screw is too tight and needs to be loosened. Now use a level to make sure that your brackets are perfectly vertical. Finally, place the shelf onto the brackets and center it. You can also use a level to make sure that your new shelf is nice and flat. Installing your brackets into the drywall is not much different than installing it into the stud. Measure and mark the position of each of your brackets on the wall. Don't worry about finding the studs. Now drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole on your mark all the way through the drywall. Next, insert the drywall anchors into the pilot holes. You might have to give them a few taps with the hammer. Now we can simply insert the provided screws into the red wall anchors and repeat the steps that you saw earlier in the stud installation. Thanks for watching another Waddell Manufacturing product knowledge tutorial.